Okay, day 25, the the last day, uh, Christmas day. So I hope this uh, I hope this goes well. D25, the halting problem. Following the twisty passageways deeper and deeper, you find a the core of the computer. Here you find a grand apparatus that fills the entire room. Spend nanometers above your head. You always imagine noisy. So it's quiet. You and the garbage collector startle each other. It's not often we get visitors here. It stopped milliseconds ago. I'm a garbage collector, not a doctor. Programs don't these organs and sets the Turing machine, so it makes the whole computer work. You try to explain the Turing machines are merely models of computation, but he cuts you off. No, see, that's just what they want you to think. Ultimately, there's a Turing machine driving the whole thing. This one's broken. We're doomed. You ask can help. Fortunately, the only way to get the computer running again would be to create a whole new Turing machine from scratch, but there's no way you can. He notices the look. You find the blueprints, your puzzle input, on the tablet. Looking it up, you can identify its parts. A tape, which, uh, which contains uh, zero. So let's uh, let's look at this input so we have it fresh in our head while we're doing this. Um, okay, so I'm probably not going to parse this. I am probably um, going to uh, just translate it by hand. Okay, we find the following blueprint. Begin in state A. Perform a diagnostic checksum after six steps in state A. Um, if the current value is zero, write the value one. If the current value is one, write the value zero. Move, go to state B. Okay, in state B, if the current value is zero, write the value one. Um, move one slot to the left. Um, continue with state A. Running it until the number of steps required to take the list of results in the following tape configurations. Uh, before any steps about to run state A, after one step about to run state B, um, after two steps about to run state A, after three steps about to run state B, and so on. CPU can confirm that the Turing machine is working by taking a diagnostic checksum after a specified number of steps. Once a specified number of steps have been executed, the Turing machine should pause. Once it does count the number of times, one appears on the tape. Uh, recreate the Turing machine and save the computer. with a diagnostic checksum it produces once it's working again. Um, and so... Um, the bad thing here is that this is a lot of steps, which means it might take a long time, but it probably won't take that long, actually. It's only 12 million. Okay, so we're going to make some uh, classes. Uh, let's make some modeling decisions. Um, for the tape, what I'm just going to do is I'm probably just going to do um, a set of integers, and I'm just going to have that represent um, every spot where there's a 1. Uh, a cursor, which can move left or right, and a set of states, each containing rules about what to do. Each slot has a uh, method to move left or right. Um, okay, so here is, um, let me slide this up a little bit so I can, and let's call this uh, day 25 halting. So that that's, that makes me scared for part two. But uh, let's roll with it. Okay, so from typing import named tuple, as always, because I model everything with named tuples. So let's look at these rules. Um, so, you know, in our um, in state E, so th this is just going to be a, uh, what do I want to call this? A blueprint. So a blueprint is going to be a dictionary from string to um, state. And I don't like calling that state, but um, uh, that's what they call it. Um, so, you know, we'll say from A, go to this state and whatever. And a state is going to be um, a dictionary um, uh, it's going to be uh, a named uh, I'm just going to make it a dictionary from int to um, rules what to do based on the current value so a dictionary from int to rule and what is a rule? Um, so a rule is going to be a named tuple, and a rule is going to be um, uh, 
value to right, which is going to be an int, and it's going to be a direction to move, which is going to be a string. It's just going to be left or right. Um, and you know what? I'll just do this uh, move left bool. That'll be a little bit simpler. Um, and then next state, which is going to be um, a string. Okay. And so um, let's write out uh, this test blueprint. And I'm not going to parse it uh, because test blueprint is going to be a blueprint. And it's a dictionary from string to state. So it's going to go A to something and then B to something. And uh, in state A, it's going to be a dictionary where 0 goes to a rule where we write 1, uh, move left is false. And you know what? I'm going to call this direction. That's easier. Uh, direction, uh, which is a string. Um, write and B. And 1 goes to uh, the rule 0, left, B. Okay. And then, and then let's put a comma. And then B is going to be 0 goes to rule of uh, right 1, 1, left, A. And 1 is going to go to the rule where we are at 1, right, and A. So that's our test blueprint. Um, and so now we want to um, we want to run uh, a blueprint, which is a blueprint, and num steps, which is an int, um, and it's going to return. Um, and let's call this a tape. And I'm just going to say that um, a tape is going to be a set of ints, and that's just going to be uh, all the ones. Okay. So I run a blueprint and num steps, and I'm going to get back a tape. And um, so what do I want to do? I want to say tape is a set of ints, which is just going to be set. Um, so let's import set there. And now I can, um, and let's say position equals 0, and state equals uh, so we start at A, is that right? Begin in state A, yeah. Um, so let's say uh, initial state string state equals initial state. And um, so, you know, for uh, step in range num steps. Uh, and so what do I do? I want to say... Um, rule equals uh, blueprint state. Um, and let me just say um, current value equals 1 if pause in tape L0. Rule equals blueprint state current value, right? So, um, so now I want to look up the rule. Um, and the rule says what to write. Um, if rule dot value to write equals one, um, uh, tape dot add pause, else uh, tape dot remove. Is that? I had ran this the other day and I wasn't sure what to do, but I think that's right. Um, x equals one, two, three. X dot remove two. X, yeah. So, and it, it's a set, so it doesn't matter if I add something that's already there or remove something that's not already there, I don't think. Uh, so if I do like x dot remove. Ugh. Um, if rule dot value to write equals one and current value equals zero, tape add and pause. Okay, so elif rule dot value to write 
equals zero and current value equals one. Tape dot remove pause. Otherwise, I won't do anything. That way, I won't get a key error. Um, so that's what I do. Um, uh, so um, so let's say right, and then we want to move. So if rule dot uh, what do I call it direction? Yeah. If rule dot direction equals left, then pause minus equals one. Uh, else pause plus equals one. And state, and finally, um, what do I want to call this? State equals rule dot uh, next state. Okay, so um, let us let me do the following: print uh, step pause tape. And um, and then I'll print one after. Uh, actually, that's fine. Uh, so just and then I'm gonna return the tape. So return tape. And so now when I run this, I want to uh, run test blueprints start at state A and six steps. So. Let me uh, run day 25 halting. Um, so at the end, I get uh, minus one, minus two, and uh, one. And the cursor is at, um, and so let me do one more uh, like this. Instead of step, I'll just say uh, final. So let me run it again and, and and make sure that it agrees with me. So uh, before any steps, that looks right. After one step, I'm at position one. And um, let me step, state, pause, tape, final, state, pause, tape. So now I can check that. Okay. So um, about to run state A, nothing. Then we get here, we've got a one and the zero. Our position is at one and we're about to run state B. Then we've got both of these turned on. We're at zero, about to run state A. We've got just one turned on. Um, and then we're at, at minus one, then we're at minus two. So, so that looks right. Um, okay. So let me get rid of these prints and um, assert that len of this equals um, three. Okay, great. Recreate the turning machine, see if the computer was the nicest. It checks some. So now we need to um, turn this thing into um, so let me say that um, real blueprint equals blueprint of, and I'll shrink this down again, um, and I will shrink this down too because I can't see it. Okay, so begin state A. If the current value is zero, write one, move right, continue state B. If the current value is one, uh, write zero, move left, and go to state C, okay? And in state B, if the current value is zero, um, write one, move left, continue with state A, and if the current value is one, write one, move one slot to the right, and continue with state D, okay? So uh, let me just copy these, so I've got a couple more. And I should have copied the one with the comma. Okay, so now uh, in state C, current value is zero, um, write one, move one slot to the right, and continuous state A, if current value is one, write zero, move one slot to the left, and continuous state E, okay? So now we're in D, state D, the current value is zero, uh, write one, move one slot to the right, continuous state A, and 
our values 1, right, 0. Move one slot to the right, continue with state B. Okay, and now in state E, the current value is 0, write the value 1. Move one slot to the left, continue with state F. Uh, and then if the current value is 1, write the value 1. Move one slot to the left and continue with state C. And then finally in state F, and I'm going to go back and double check all these because I'm sure I screwed one up. Write one, move one slot to the right, and then continue with state C. And then, um, sorry, one, right, continue with state D. If the current value is one, write one, move one slot to the right, continue with state A. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go through these one more time and make sure I didn't mess them up. So zero, one, right, B, one, zero left C, okay? State B uh, at zero, we wanna do one left A, and then we wanna do one right D, so that's good. State C, if it's zero, we wanna do one right A, and then if it's one, we wanna do zero left E. And then in state D, um, you know, we want to do uh, one right A, and then uh, in one, it's zero right B. State E with zero, it's one left F, and then uh, with one, it's uh, one left C, so that's right. And then in state F, the current value is zero, write the value uh, one right D, and if it's one, do uh, one right A. Okay, so I, I think those are actually, um, so I think I got them correct, actually. So now, let us say if name equals main, tape equals uh, run real blueprint, and now it wants me to run a lot of these. Um, this many steps. Let's add our little underscores, 12 million steps, but you know, it's not doing a lot of work, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, and then finally, uh, begin in state A. So um, that's the second thing. Uh, print length of the tape. And do I want to add some if step mod 1 million equals zero, print step, sure, why not? Okay, so let's uh, run this guy. So this doesn't take that long. Um, I don't know what that first zero is, but that's fine. 2,870. So let us go plug that in. Um, that's the right answer. Okay. Now it's going to ask me something hard. This brings back to life. Uh, you currently have priority zero for console. Oh, the 50 stars, you have enough stars to reboot the printer. All right, let's click. Suddenly everything seems a lot less pixelated by four, blah, blah, blah. Congratulations, you finished every puzzle in Advent Code 2017. I hope you had as much fun solving them as I had making them for you. I'd love to hear about your adventure. You can touch the contact info website, blah, 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 blah. Um, I've highlighted the Easter eggs in each puzzle just in case you missed them. Um, so, there is no part two. That is a, that's definitely um, a Christmas treat. And uh, we are done. So, thanks. You know, thanks. That was actually wasn't too bad. Thanks for watching these. Um, except for like two days, it was actually a lot of fun to do them. And uh, I hope you've had fun watching them and learned something maybe. Um, find me on Twitter, at Joel Groose. Uh, you know the drill. And uh, maybe I'll do this next year. Or maybe I'll do something even before next year. I don't know. Um, but cool. Merry Christmas.